you're not being told what to say or doing RT. And I really appreciate that because um, one of the things that one of the things that I respect most is being. I know it's almost Im- impossible to be impartial in media because we've all got opinions, etc. But I actually spoke to a really interesting gentleman last night called Jim Kunstler, who described uh, to me that the defeat of Hillary Clinton has made a certain class of people in the US completely crazy and the Russian hysteria is a dangerous and idiotic exercise in psyops. Um, what do you say to yeah. that? I think he's absolutely right. I think the, the, the Russian hysteria, and apparently it was the idea was, they came up with the idea immediately after the Hillary loss as to how to, how to spin things. Because m- many people don't remember that for one week, the, after her loss, or maybe two weeks, they blamed it on James Comey of the FBI because he reopened the investigation within two Wikileaks weeks of, as well. yeah. of the Alexa, election and WikiLeaks. But then they realized that going after the FBI in the deep state is why Hillary lost isn't a good idea because then they're, they're not just going against all the Americans who voted for Trump. They're also going against uh, and, and voted for, let's say, Bernie Sanders or whatever. Um, they're also going against the deep state. So they then pivoted, made James Comey a hero, and pointed the finger at Russia. And now they've been on Russia, Russia, Russia ever since um, because it allows them to not actually question uh, what the, in the democratic establishment uh, had, does not speak to Americans, why it is that you have it filled with uh, corrupt elites who cannot relate to the average American's experience, uh, you know, really have no idea what it is they, they stand for other than corporate greed, which is basically what the Republicans stand for. So they can't offer anything different. And now it's getting really fascinating in an ugly way in that a quarter of all the Democrats running for office in the House of Representatives in these midterm elections coming up in November are uh, military intelligence apparatus. You've got 57 candidates running for the Democrat, uh, Democratic positions uh, out of 221 that actually have funding and, you know, have it shot. Um, and that has never, that's unprecedented in American uh, history. No party has ever tried to fill their ranks with military intelligence. Uh, people who proudly say, I used to be at the CIA, I used to be in the FBI, I used to be military, I was in the invasion of Iraq. This, these are proudly people stating that. And what it is, is basically the Bernie Sanders movement and Hillary's loss has made the, the corporate state on the very nervous of the Democratic side. It proved that they may not have that side on lockdown the way they thought they did. The Republicans are, yeah, they're the corporate state all the way. But the Democrats, they were like, oh, shit, you know, this is, this is really nerve wracking that it could come this close, that Hillary could lose to a reality star clown. And so now what, they've do, what they're doing, besides pointing the finger at Russia, is they're filling in the ranks with uh, military intelligence apparatus members and it's it's really sick and sad is this time and time again that anyone working for rt are just russian scapegoats and 